I hope uh, your watercolor paintings are going great. You are learning, you are improving. And I'm really, you know, uh, privileged to see you all online. And uh, tonight I came live. Hello. Okay, I'll just wait for a little more time to people to join. So hello everyone. Okay, hi from Korea. Hello, how are you? So in in this watercolor tutorial, I'll be I'll be demonstrating very quick uh, uh, a very loose uh, watercolor uh, a watercolor demonstration. I won't take much time. <laughs> Uh, this is absolutely because uh, watercolor, the loose watercolor is all about how quickly you can, you know, you can express yourself. So, thank you so much uh, people joining tonight. So, alright, so now I'll just go ahead uh, and I'll demonstrate how quickly we can, uh, you know, we can convert our, the imagination, whether we are uh, imaginative some figure or uh, you have uh, some reference photograph to follow so we can just uh, you know follow all of them and uh, and how we how quickly we can just transform them uh, into yours into your paper so this is basically helpful for you uh, in case if you want to do a watercolor sketch uh, that would be really helpful if you're traveling you're out and you just wanted to spend some time doing uh, watercolor activities you can do that so I'll just go ahead without taking much time. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm just I'll be making one one cyclist who's doing a cycling. Uh, it's a very quick, as I said, it will be very quick. So for this we need to do a sketch. So the first thing is just sketch, add a very random sketch. So this is going to be a head. Is it visible? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is the another round, just circle. So especially for the beginner, uh, just uh, you have to give a, a little more attention here, and how quick, uh, how we, uh, you know, how we can establish a character. So one round, and the second round, and so this is going to be a head, and this is the body, and. Uh, this can be another oval and uh, the another one is very really random and another one this is a leg basically this is the leg the cycle the cycling guy who's just doing the cycling and here is a another round and this another the round it's all about round <laughs> and uh, another this two line here just and uh, yeah so so this is body this is head this is hand and this is two leg and uh, we can have shoes here like this. So as you can see, I mean, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, spending much time figuring out uh, the detailed uh, sketch because we are doing a loose, very loose watercolor. And uh, if you are doing this loose watercolor, then you really don't require to make a very perfect, uh, you know, sketch but it doesn't mean that you should not sketch properly you have to do that because that's the base that's a fundamental so that foundation has to be uh, perfect i'm doing it because uh, you know, i feel is i feel a little conf confident about it uh, so you make sure that uh, you also do all of those fundamental exercise so here i'm using this handle for cycle and uh, this is the one rim and uh, this is paddle and this is the another one and this is going to be a seat 
<laughs> I don't know how much visible it is, uh, but uh, I'm just uh, trying to bring in whatever I could. So this is the two rim for cycle and and this one is your this cycle wheel okay and the another one is just take the proportion here so proportion goes from here to here here to here here to here so now boom 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 that's all and maybe those spokes and those things so we'll you can do it later now we just give a little impression of uh, the helmet and uh, this guy face though most of the thing will be covered in the painting in uh, you know, color itself but we just for better visibility all right <laughs> I, I don't know uh, uh, how it came okay so this is the sketch we have now just uh, just assume that uh, you are you, you are somewhere and uh, you love sketching outside and uh, you got uh, some inspiration similar like this so how how quickly you can make those sketch with the watercolor so that's the kind of uh, exercise we are doing here so after this we are going to apply the color so the color palette i have is i don't know whether it's, it's not visible i have a slightly bigger i'm sorry about it so i'll just let me introduce my color palette so here i'm using this ultramarine blue and i have a sepia the green green is a sap green uh, though i have mixed all the, <laughs> all the green yes sap green olive green all the green goes here uh, so yeah uh, and this is orange and uh, yellow occur burnt sienna and uh, i'm using this uh, indigo and obviously this red uh, I'm also using this a little bit of uh, the horizon blue uh, and uh, this is ivory black. So this is the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the color we have. And uh, let me also introduce my brush. So I'm using this brush, which is a calligraphy brush. Uh, so uh, that's what uh, I'm using it. And uh, I also have a piece of uh, this cotton cloth which you need it and obviously a wall of water of fresh water so that's all that's all we need and uh, we can now start making those painting I hope my color I'm sorry if it is uh, some color is missing but I'm sure the red color you will anyway recognize so I'm perfectly fine with you <laughs> fine so before starting this let me also introduce uh, I don't know uh, most of uh, you uh, if you don't know uh, I have started a class a very detailed level of uh, watercolor class in my skill set so i'm sure that most of the people uh, knowing about the skill set so skill set is a platform for the creative people to you know uh, to teach uh, the students and uh, and i feel that skill set is the best uh, platform for uh, you know anything to learn so there i have started a class for watercolor class and i have uh, so far i have uh, uh, created two courses and uh, the recently I've uploaded uh, is this class. So you can, uh, this is very simple, though it looks very, uh, I don't know, if you are a beginner, you might feel like this is very tough and uh, uh, you can't do that, but uh, trust me, this is so simple. That's what I just wanted to make this a very simple, uh, easy watercolor, uh, the process. 
so you can just check my link uh, I have a two class so both the link I have given skill share class you can go and enroll in that class so that's the thing now go back to my painting so now I'll start with first we need to just give a little water no water here okay and uh, now I'll take burn sienna is that visible yes and I'll make face of the sky don't scared if I'm doing anything <laughs> this is the face and wow, wow. that's the hand now I will make the helmet so the helmet uh, I'm using there's a too much of water let me okay so I've taken this sepia and uh, mixing with uh, ultramarine blue and uh, I'm just applying this here boom 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 yes and uh, now some more Bansiana okay and now we need to work on Again, I'm taking but the this ultramarine blue. I love ultramarine blue. And doom. The interesting thing is, if you are going to think about what I need to apply here, at the moment you are going to think all the, all that, you're gone. So don't think don't think it sounds funny but it works trust me again I have taken the sepia and uh, probably this one will keep white here because uh, we just wanted to give uh, some logo and uh, the branding kind of stuff because this guy is cyclist and he's been now I'll just take this yellow occur for his pant and uh, here so this is the another leg which has us obviously the same color but i'll just wanted to make a little dark because that's a uh, the another side of the pant i don't know what is what is that called and uh, here Now again, I will just take this uh, once here now, and I'll make this uh, leg. And here also, so I will leave uh, this. white and uh, again this another hand
Ponsion na here. Oh, sorry. Uh, Ultramarine blue for this for souls. And now we need to work on the cycle. So the full cycle for the handle. This is going to be handle and uh, So I'm using this black here. Boom. And this is the the paddle. And again here, this time I've just mixed uh, ultramarine and black. Okay, and uh, all right, so stop here, and then this is still having a little <clears throat> bit of moisture, so. We'll just give a little bit of depth there. <clears throat> okay and now we need to have a little bit of background so just do some something there So I'm just using this uh, horizon blue and uh, ultramarine blue. A lot of people don't like me to do all of this, especially some people feel that uh, <clears throat> I just, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I spoil the painting, but uh, trust me, I love spoiling the painting, <laughs> and that's what I tell people, that you need to spoil your painting. In order to learn watercolor, you should know how to spoil your painting. And that's what I teach in my class. <clears throat> so you must visit my watercolor class. 
in the skills here and just see that how does it it's helping you all right so now i just i just leave this brush and i've just <clears throat> i've taken this two tiny brush though a lot of <laughs> a lot of people have criticized me in one of my video i told them don't use this brush because it takes away your uh, you know uh, your confidence and a lot of people has given me <laughs> a very uh, uh, such a response I also get scared and I say oh man I should use it <laughs> so yeah I mean there is nothing I mean some people use it some people doesn't it's it's totally your preference what you want so now we are we have to take this uh, uh, wheel the rim and all of that so I just that's the reason I'm using this brush and and this specific uh, time you really need such kind of brush where you can just give you know small uh, very thin line so what I'm going to do is you need to make this so some people they do like this you can do that but I don't do that and I won't tell you to do that what you need to do is boom, just do a in a one go that's all however it comes and that's the beauty take this the depth is a beauty the dark is beautiful here this the depth look at the beauty of this right and just play around just see what works what doesn't work learn from this do all of that do a little bit of experiment take this uh, you know the water in your hand and just sprinkle it just see what happens just don't restrict yourself Now, this guy is wearing glass, the sunglass. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. Uh, is it called a sunglass or what? Just minute detail this. Okay. So now, again, uh, I took this brush, and now we have to give the shadow. So I've just taken this depth and uh, here we go. Just bring that. All right, so <laughs> we are done. We are done with this uh, painting, and uh, I'm not going to work much on this because it doesn't need. It doesn't ask you to do many things here. And you should be happy with this. So now you can just, if you if you really want to do some more, let it dry. Let it dry for some time, and then uh, you know, and then you can do a little bit of touch up here and there. 
uh, some highlights and stuff like so such kind uh, such such kind of work you can do so i hope this uh, uh, help you this help you to learn your watercolor i really want you to learn because i am seeing and i'm hearing from many beginners saying that uh, their their watercolor is not improving and i feel very sad about it i want you to learn whatever i know i can just share with you so i really thank you everyone uh, uh, encouraging me to create such uh, watercolor especially my patron who is helping me to create uh, such watercolor tutorial so visit my patron page and support my art so i can create uh, such watercolor and uh, moreover i as i said i have uh, created a class uh, watercolor class in skillshare so you can visit my skillshare and uh, uh, you know enroll in my class so i have a lot of exciting things coming up so i'll be sharing that so this work is uh, the, the recently uh, you know yesterday i have uploaded uh, a new class in my skillshare so you can learn the entire process of how i've done it all these sets and uh, you know from sketching to first layer and how to work with us uh, you know the layering system and everything so you'll be getting all of those uh, the learning and skill set is the great platform for any learning so thank you so much everyone uh, joining tonight and uh, uh, i hope hopefully i'll be coming with a new video very soon thank you so much and uh, take care of yourself make a lot of art and be happy